Hello honeys and welcome to the vlog. I know it's been a hot minute since your girl has posted a video, but I've just been doing so much adulting and taking care of things, which has been awesome and overwhelming all at the same time. So I'm trying to get back into my routine of posting videos regularly. So yeah, here we are. Um, I am having a little pre-workout meal of stir fry. So I just have some like shredded beef and some veggies in there if you can see so what's cool is like walmart already has their beef kind of like shredded up and cut up like this i just add some teriyaki sauce and then i get just a frozen veggie stir fry in the freezer section dump that in there super easy super quick and i get my protein and my veggies so i am eating this um before the gym like i said things here have been a little crazy and awesome all at the same time our wedding was canceled um a month before which is why i haven't posted in so so long kind of having to undo everything and let all the guests know and all of that stuff um took priority so that being said good news is we were still able to get married so that is awesome and within the same week we put in an offer on a house and it got accepted so it's been a lot of adulting in such a short amount of time like i said super exciting stuff but also can be kind of overwhelming so things are dying down a little bit so i'm trying to get back to my regular posting schedule the gym just opened up for the first time this week so i thought i would do a little like back to the gym video some tips for getting back in that routine a little pre-workout ritual i'm feeling good i don't feel like i need a push of extra energy today and a pre-workout or anything like that so i am just going to throw some bcaa's in my shaker bottle if you don't know bcaa's stand for branch chain amino acids oh my god it smells so good this flavor is blue raspberry I take these kind of like before to the beginning of my workout as I'm like getting to the gym, I'm drinking it, stretching, warming up, all of that good stuff. Um, Cause you do want to drink your BCAAs within a shorter um, amount of time. If you're sitting here doing like an hour or two hour long workout, you don't want to drink it over that long time period. Cause you want your body to get it before the workout because it helps with muscle growth and muscle fatigue. So, I don't know why I'm struggling so hard today with opening and closing things. So, I'm going to take these to the gym. We're going to head there, do a little warm up. So, I'll see you, Boo Thanks, there. All right, Boo Thanks, we have made it to the gym. I'm just in the little yoga room, stretching, warming up, all of that good stuff. Um, this is my fourth day at the gym this week, first week back, and I wanted to take the first couple days to kind of see how my body would react, what I was feeling, things like that before I kind of shared it with you guys. So today I'll be doing shoulders and back, which I will show you guys um, in a minute, but honestly, your girl has never been more sore than she has been these past couple days. And I don't know, I guess I had like expected or hoped that when I stepped back in the gym, it would be like I had never left. And that's obviously not how it works. It's not how our bodies work. It's not how our minds work, anything like that. So I've been insanely sore. I haven't been able to do nearly the amount of weight on literally anything that I normally have or that I had built up before I left the gym. Just because obviously home workouts are awesome, you can still stay in shape and get the results you want at home. But when you come back to the gym and it's different machines, different movements, way heavier weights, things like that, it is a little bit different. So I just wanted to provide you guys with kind of some tips that might help you guys getting back in to the gym. So tip number one is to go easy on yourself you are not going to be able to do as much as you were when you stepped out of the gym pre-quarantine so that being said go easy on yourself you will get back to that point you will get back to being able to do that much cardio or lift that much weight or whatever it may be just go easy on yourself you have to build it back up um and for some of you i'm sure quarantine 
kind of made you start working out, which is super awesome. So I'm sure that these tips will also help you guys, but go easy on yourself. Give yourself some credit. You're back at the gym, you're here. It's gonna take some time to build up that strength and stamina. Number two would be to stretch. I am so sore, my muscles are so tight. So I've been trying to stretch a lot because you don't want to go to the gym and then the next day or the day after you're so sore and tight that you're almost like not really able to do much because you can't move and you don't have as much mobility and all of that good stuff. So stretch for sure. And then the third tip I would give is recovery. Make sure that you are taking care of your body and your muscles, especially right now because you haven't been doing the amount that you're about to be doing once you get back to the gym and and to working out. So whether that's taking baths with Epsom salt, um, taking supplements to kind of help your muscles recover faster, going in the jacuzzi, getting a massage, stretching, using those guns for your muscles, rolling out, whatever it may be, just take the time to recover. Another tip would be to hydrate. I remember my first time back at the gym earlier this week, your girl was like struggling. I just like, you know, I hadn't pushed my body that hard in a long time and you get, you know, kind of lightheaded and you don't feel as strong and things like that. Um, but I also think it's because I haven't been drinking as much water as I usually do. So stay hydrated. I brought my BCAAs this time like you guys can see. So I'm drinking that. That also helps me drink more water because it actually tastes really good. So stay hydrated for sure because you're pushing your body harder than I'm sure most of you guys have during quarantine. And I think that the last tip I would give is your diet to just try to feed your body what it needs with you know the right amount of protein, carbs, fruits, veggies, all of that good stuff because it does make a difference. I know personally I've been a little bit more lenient on food lately um, because of quarantine things are opening up so you're able to eat out more now um, and it's just kind of like an odd time I don't know um, so just take care of your body make sure it's getting the nutrients that it needs in your diet and if you're not um, I am also going to do a supplement video for the next video, the supplements I take, why I take them, what they do to help your body, all of that good stuff. It's actually one of the most educational videos I think I've ever done. I think it's number one for sure. So I'm super, super excited about it. I know that you guys will learn a lot. And one thing too that might help you guys when you get back to the gym is a lot of the time I know people struggle with like what workouts to do, being held accountable for finishing, all sets, all reps, all of that good stuff. So over quarantine, I downloaded First Form's app. It's called My Transformation and it's totally free. I have the upgraded version that you pay for, but what's super cool is you put in like your height, weight, age, goal, all of that stuff, how often you work out um, and it tailors the workouts that it gives you to the information you put in. So if you work out a lot, the workouts will be different than if you just work out like one to two times a week, which is super cool because it's tailored to you. So it just has like the home screen here and you can click like today's workout. It gives you a list of all the different workouts um, that you should be doing for that day. So like incline barbell press, incline dumbbell fly, it gives you the sets, the amount of reps, and you can just go on and mark complete. So it helps keep you like accountable, like a coach without really having one. There's a My Nutrition tab where you can enter the food you eat and it calculates your protein, carbs, fats, your total against your goal, all of that good stuff. Um, and then what is so super cool is there's this chat icon down here and you can chat with a real nutritionist, which is super rad. So um, like I said, the app is totally free. It's just kind of been helping keep me accountable and giving me different ideas for workouts and all of that good stuff. So go ahead and sign up. I will put the link down on the screen so that you guys can check it out. But yeah, those are just some quick tips. So I hope it helps. Go easy on yourself, be gentle. Everyone is in the same position getting back to the gym and trying to get their, their mind and body right. So that being said, let's go kill this shoulder and back workout.
are back from the gym. As you guys can see, I'm not doing nearly as much weight. I'm taking it a lot easier this first week back to get my body used to everything and the movements and the machines and all of that good stuff. So I am going to make a protein shake, which I have made all throughout quarantine and it's absolutely delicious. I don't even know how to explain the flavor besides awesomeness. It's sweet, so it helps curb your sweet tooth. But all it is, is I take a little bit of ice and we're going to take a hand full of mango chunks. And I highly recommend the Great Value mango chunks because I've tried the like fancier brand mango chunks and it did not taste nearly as good. So we're just going to put about that much of mango chunks in, just a handful. We are gonna throw some oats in. And I do about a quarter cup of oats. Throw this guy in here. Next up is almond butter scoop of the creamy almond butter. What I like about this shake too is that it keeps you full for a pretty long time, which is perfect if you want this for like a breakfast shake to kind of help hold you over to lunch. And that's because of the almond butter and the oats. There's a little bit more substance to the shake. So we're gonna do a scoop. I am almost out of First Forms Formula One Protein, the Magical Charms. The Magical Charms is bomb in this specific shake because it's not like an overwhelming taste. So you get to taste all of the other awesomeness, awesomeness like the almond butter and the mango and one banana as well. So we'll throw a banana in here. We're gonna add some cinnamon. And I love to do a lot of cinnamon. Kind of tastes like pie. I think that's the closest I can get to how it tastes. Put some almond milk in here. All right, so this is the final product and it literally tastes so good. I am going to go finish up my day. I know today's video was short and sweet, but just a little motivation to get everyone back in the gym and take it easy on yourself, be kind, and I will see you guys in the next video.